Hello, dear students. My name is Munebi Lawrence Olubenga. I'm your English language teacher. The topic for discussion is now. Happy listening. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to one, describe a noun, two, state different types of nouns, three, identify them in giving sentences. Now, let somebody give us the definition of a noun. We may likely have this. A noun is a name of any person, animal, place, or thing. That is good. But the concept of noun cover much more than what is listed in that definition. A noun refers to names given to persons, places, things, qualities, states, concepts, or actions. Simply put, a noun is a name given to an object of discussion. Do you notice any difference between your definition and mine? Share your thoughts with your friend. Classes of nouns. Proper nouns. A proper noun is a specific, that is, not generic, name for a particular person, place, or thing. Proper nouns are always capitalized in English, no matter where they fall in a sentence. Because they endow nouns with a specific name, they are also sometimes called proper names. Take your notebooks, your pens, and write out examples of proper nouns. Share your answers with your friends. Now, let us look at a few examples of proper nouns. One, names of persons, John, Kayode, Ganyat, Uche, Adekunle, Olabisi, ETC. Days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, months of the year, January, February, March, April, May, June, ETC. Names of places including streets, villages, towns, cities, countries, continents, e.g. Mawamewale Close, West Avenue, Broad Street, Ajegunle, Ikorodu, Lagos, Lagos State, Nigeria, Togo, Africa, Europe, Asia, ETC. Names of religions, Christianity, Islam, Hindu, ETC. Clubs and societies, Literary and Debating Society, Lions Club, Rotary Club, Firms and Organizations, Dio and Sons Limited, World Health Organization, Africa Union, and West Africa Examination Council. Titles of books, journals, movies, TV shows, essays, poems, novels, newspapers, and magazines. List some of the Nigerian newspapers and magazines. Here are some of them. The Punch, The Nation, Daily Trusts, Daily Times, Night Rain, as a poem. Books, The Lion and the Joy, Lonely Days, Economies for West Africa. N names of deities and gods, Ogun, Obatala, Shongo, ETC. Names of school subjects and academic disciplines slash courses, biology, physics, economics, accountancy, law, political science, mass communication, ETC. Names of diseases, HIV, coronavirus, Ebola, Lassa fever, polio, ETC, note, any proper noun, irrespective of its position in a sentence, must have its initial letter written in capital. Examples, John lives in Lagos. 
New York is my favorite city. I have been to London before. The initial letters of John, Lagos, New York, and London are capitalized in all the three sentences above because they are proper nouns. Let's go for a short break now. When we come back, we will continue this lesson. Welcome back to Collective Nouns. It is a name given to a group of persons, things, or animals. Examples, jury, flock, committee, congregation, mob, crowd, regiment, platoon, army, military, fleet, bunch, class, audience, board, orchestra, staff, troop, pride, panel, choir, gang, herd, board, pie, etc. Note, a collective noun can either take a singular or plural verb. When a collective noun is taken as a group, it takes a singular verb. However, it takes a plural verb when individual members are being referred to. Let us consider the following sentences. The committee was unanimous. The committee acted as a unit or group. The committee were arguing among themselves. Here, members are acting as individuals. Three, common nouns. A common noun is a general name, common to all persons or things. Examples, boy, girl, man, lion, tree, book, table, bag, house, cup, box, bicycle, chair, etc. Four, abstract nouns. This is the name of a quality, idea, or state. A noun is abstract where we cannot see, touch, or smell it. Examples, fear, democracy, poverty, Ignorance, love, management, authority, etc. Note, abstract nouns should be treated as singular. Therefore, they should take singular verbs. For example, fear has torments. Love is blind, but marriage is an eye-opener. Poverty is worse. I want to mention five abstract nouns. Here am I. Justice, hunger, socialism, Capitalism and hatred. We're going to go for the final break. When we come back, we will conclude this lesson. Thank you. Welcome back to the final segment of this class. Five mass nouns. Mass nouns are uncountable by number. They can only be quantified by words that signify amount. They have only one form that is singular. Examples of mass nouns are materials, food, metals, bread, cutting, and wood, just to mention a few. Mass nouns cannot take any of the indefinite articles, A or N. 
because they have no concept of singular and plural. Although in English, they take singular verb forms. These are some examples of mass nouns, baggage, evidence, furniture, equipment, money, news, tea, soup, sugar, work, weather, jewelry, information, homework, luggage, bread, luck, etc. Let us look at these sentences together. A. I have just received an information from the manager. B. Yemi bought a bread from ShopRite. C. The government had just supplied some equipment to our school. Share your answer with your friend. Compare your answers with mine. A. I have just received some information slash a piece of information from the manager. B. Yemi bought a loaf of bread from ShopRite. C. The government had just supplied some equipment to our school. However, mass nouns can use much or some as a modifier. E.g. I have got some information for you. Six, concrete nouns. Concrete nouns are nouns we can experience with our five senses. Taste, touch, sight, hearing, or smell. In other words, a concrete noun can be identified through any of the five senses. For example, A. I can put the book on the table. B. I've got three novels to read this weekend. C. My father rears dogs. My dear students, I'm quite sure that you have learned something today. I want you to answer these questions. Identify all the nouns in these sentences and state their types. One, the returnee packed his luggage and jetted out of the country. Two, my father has three houses in Ibadan. Three, the police are diligent. Four, Chioma has much jewelry. Five, I will go with you on Monday. For further reading, go to www.hyperlinken.m.wikipedia.org www.lezico.com https hyperlink www.miriam-webster.com until I come your way next time, keep reading. God bless you. Thank you.